we have a little competition. So somewhere in this video, we're going to put a hidden imps and ghouls um, icon. I'll first, show you that icon now. The first three people shot. shot. Oh, now it all comes out. <laughs> the first three people that can name the timestamp gets a free imps and ghouls ghouls merchandise badge. I need to put my coat on. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Imps and Ghouls. Today we're investigating the castle at Newark, Nottinghamshire. Newark Castle was built in the 12th century. It was founded by the Bishop of Lincoln who got permission from King Henry I to have the castle built. Nearly a hundred years later in 1216, the infamous King John died here. He wasn't a very liked king. Even by medieval standards, he was considered a tyrant. He died of dysentery, although some people suspect he may have been poisoned. The town of Newark and the castle itself also have history connections to the English Civil War. Newark was of strategic importance because of its access to two roads, the North Road and also the Foss Way. The town of Newark was held under siege during the Civil War three times. The third and final siege lasted six months. During those months, there was a very harsh winter and many people of Newark died of starvation, cold or disease. Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to a very, very wet and windy episode of Imps and Ghouls. We are here in Newark at Newark Castle. Absolutely beautiful surroundings. Um, so this is notoriously haunted. Um, so there's said to be quite a nasty, violent spirit here. Um, it's known to scratch people, um, physically hurt people. Um, and also um, there's said to be a demon here as well. It is the place um, where the evil King John, who was said to have died here of dysentery, um, so it's linked to all the myths and legends of Robin Hood, uh, Robin? Robin Hood, uh, Sherwood Forest, and um, just those old-fashioned tales of, of yore. So yeah, let's see what we find. John's got toxemia, the medieval Latin word for poisoning, flog the sinful, and corona found a ground. Again, Latin and Old English for crown found underwater. Okay. Oh, where's my J gone? That's interesting. <laughs> so, 
boat. So we've got the spirit talker on. Um, if there is anyone here that wants to come through and talk to us, you can use this device in my hand here on my left, or you can use this device here on my right. Glenn. Glenn, okay. Straight away with a name. Can you tell us who you are, Glenn? We don't mean you any harm whatsoever. There's five of us. Five of you? It's just said there's five of us. In case that didn't come up on the audio. <laughs> Another <Hear> my voice. <laughs> <Hear> my voice. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's be quiet a second and see if we can hear their voice. Unfortunately, there is other people you've rendered the castle, so. So if there is anyone here, you can touch this device in my right hand as well. You can make the light light up. Is the spirit talker on loud? It is. So we can hear. Williams. Williams. So like I say, um, King John was notoriously evil, even for his time, and part of that evil uh, was he would commission people to torture other people for him but if there is anyone here and you would like to come through to us you can speak to us through this device here or you can... you heard me you heard me wow and look, i was just about to say the you can light the light up just said you here. heard me it went all the way to Yellow a moment oh, I didn't ago. notice. Yeah, the EMF's going. Is that you making our... As you can see, it's going up to yellow, which is quite significant. Is that Glenn or Williams making our bleep bloop go? EMS. <laughs> bleep bloop. So it's still going. And not, it's getting fainter. <clears throat> Well, thank you so much for, for setting Intelligent. Up. Intelligent. Is that the intelligence you'd collect from torturing people? Or an intelligent response? Hmm. We're standing underneath this uh, archway at the moment because it's chucking it down with rain out there. It's predicted thunderstorms, and interestingly, I don't know if this is true, but thunderstorms and rain can trigger paranormal activity because of the the influx of energy created by a thunderstorm. Okay, Claire's got her. Um, the children play. Oh, 
but there are a hole in the wall. That looks like a bricked up doorway to me, if you can oh. see the archway above it. I think that was maybe a window or a, like a serving hatch. Or Grandfather. Grandfather, that's unusual. Do you have a name for us, Grandfather? Can you tell us if this was a doorway next to us? <clears throat> okay, um, back to filming. The dog's gone now, I think. <laughs> Thankfully. Yeah. We've also taken our jackets off because it's quite warm. Uh, anyway, um, we've put some of these uh, cat balls around. And in true not filming fashion, we've just had please get out and the cat ball in there light yeah, up. We did but of course, we're not filming, so it all happened when we're not filming. Yeah, there's cat ball in there. There's some cat balls over here. So if anyone would like to come and move one of these balls, uh, all they do is light up, lets us know you're here. Don't harm you in any way. If there is anyone here, if you'd like to come through um, and talk to us, we'd be very, very grateful. We don't mean you any harm whatsoever. Um, if you'd like to touch this device in your hand, Pigeon. or you can, oh babies, uh -huh. or you can light up the cat balls here or to talk to us through Hungry. Hungry. Uh, that is very apt actually because at the time of King John he treated his people very badly. And more to the, more specifically, in this location below our feet, there is a, a place where people were thrown and left to starve. Yes. That's very mm. true. So hungry is quite a morbidly apt response. And we're very sorry you're hungry and we're very sorry you had to go through that. So hungry just came through on the spirit talker. Just about to see it there. Uh, there's some pigeons up there with a little nest. Oh, he might be able to hear them. Absolutely adorable. A lot of people are harsh about pigeons, but I, I actually love pigeons. And they're lovely little animals. There's mummy pigeon. Yeah, we are standing quite close to what uh, was used as a dungeon, where people were just thrown in and forgotten. An oubliette? Almost like an oubliette. Actually a, an underground like room. Whereas an oubliette is just a pit with no door. Thank Fem you for listening. Oh, thank you for listening. You're very welcome. We are very interested in hearing whatever you have to say, whether it be good or bad or... Do you have a name for us? Can we have a name of who we're speaking to? So if there is a specific person, if you'd like to touch this device in my hand you can make the lights light up you can you can touch these balls here they'll light up if you try and move them there's another one here in this hole in the wall and also you can use the spirit talker again if you'd like to talk to us if you have a name for us that, that would be um, that would be really great we'd really appreciate it we don't mean you any harm whatsoever. Could you tell us... Uh, died a long time ago. I was actually just about to ask. Could you tell us when it was you died? Could you give us a year? Was it in the time of King John? So I died a long time ago, just came through. I'm not sure if the camera picked it up. I'm hope, hoping it did. Poor. Poor. Poor of a 
poverty and hunger to mm. major factors in human misery, which there was actually a lot of in this castle, unfortunately, at, yeah. at the time. Feeling very sad. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know why. I was a witch. I was a witch. Okay. That's fine. Was it you were uh, accused of being a witch? Threat. 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 Well, that was two very quick <laughs> responses there. I'm going to put this down for me because I don't feel I'm. We're in quite a small space here, and there's only so much. Yeah, we, we can't can pick use up. everything, can we? Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to very carefully put this down here. Do you need us to say a prayer for you? Can you move location? Do you want us to go? Where would you like us to move to? Uh, can you tell us what year it was you, you lived and when you died? Oh, it's starting to hammer it down again. It's raining again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't feel it under here because we're quite sheltered. Yeah. It's chucking it down out there. It is. I was just thinking it looks very beautiful actually in the rain, so yes, it's very tranquil. I think it might be a good time to use our recorder again. Yeah, now it's quiet. Now the uh, happy dog's gone. Mm. So if there is anyone here, if you would like to come through and say something to us in this device, you are very welcome to. You can give us a name or a date of where you passed or, or how you're feeling. It would be most appreciated. So that was the spirit talker saying circle. So let's stop and play it, see if anything came back from that. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. Could you tell us the year please? Be able to do that for us, we'd really appreciate it. So if there is anyone here, if you would like to come through and say something to us in this device, you are very welcome to. You can give us a name or a date of where you passed or, or how you're feeling, it will be most appreciated. At the, at the start there, if you can play that again, it sounded like someone was crying. You're very welcome to. If you can give us a name or a date of where you passed or, or how you feel, you're very welcome to. If you can give us a name or a date of where you passed or, or how you feel, you're very welcome to. If you can give us a name or a date of where you passed or, or how you feel. The last Three one. children here. Get okay, lots coming through on the spirit talker. I was treated well. For some reason the camera stopped recording here. This doesn't necessarily mean it's paranormal, it could just be a technical glitch. Whatever the reason, it meant that a few things didn't get recorded onto film. A few things did happen until I realised it wasn't recording. Uh, but let's get back to it. So we've just had breath come through on here as well. And, and quite a few other things all at once. What did it say? Breath, I was treated well. Three children here. Who is speaking? 
uh, quite a lot. So again, if there is anyone here, if you would like to talk to us through this device, you're very welcome to. Kieran, is there anything you want to say before I record? Uh, no. Okay, here we go. So we've just had pain come through as well on the spirit talker again a lot of uh, a lot of negative words um, it'd be interesting to see when we move on to a different part of the castle shortly what what will actually pick up let's see if there's anything that was picked up you have to excuse us this is a new device Haunted ship sales that's very specific so there is um, literally um, a river. Yeah, and literally this, the River Trent, and it does connect to the sea. Saying about King John and the jewels in the wash. Yeah, King John lost the crown jewels. He'd probably be very angry about that. Yes. He lost the crown jewels uh, in the wash, which is uh, quite far from here. But I think not long after he lost them, he came up here to Newark, and this is where he died. Some say it was after eating a large amount of peaches uh, and he had dysentery and he died but some other people suspect he may have been poisoned because he wasn't very popular. Is there anything picked up on here? So again I'm going to press play. Um, Nothing comes through on there, that's okay. Yeah. Oh. Was that the wind or? Taylor. Taylor? Is that as in a clothing tailor? That's the name Taylor. <laughs> so the one of the, the cat balls was just going on. I've not even looked at that one. They could have been. This is what happened last time. They could be going off, and we've not even noticed. No, so. it's hard to tell because it's quite light. When you're in a darker place, you, you sort of notice it more. Just had experiment come through. I suppose, in a sense, this is an experiment. Yeah. Annie. Ooh, and Annie. So experiment. We asked for a name. And we do have a another new. Um, form of communication so this is a psychic coin so it's very very basic yeah. yes and no but it would be interesting to see if anything does come through and I'd like to use it in collaboration with the spirit talker and um, see if we can get any uh, intelligent and uh, relevant results there's a very fine line between jumping to conclusions and what is actually um, paranormal and we do like to debunk things if we can we we're not you know we're not screamers we don't um, get easily spooked we don't like to make a big fuss and we don't like to scare spirits that are actually kind enough to come through to us um, nan. nan so we have had granddad come through as well and now nan empire empire Interesting. Empire. Maybe the British Empire? Possibly, or the or Empire. The Roman Empire? Yeah. If there is a negative spirit here. Angel. You... Angel. Okay, that's that's a nice thing. Is there an angel here? Oops. So we have had. Yes. Yeah. Are you the angel that I 
called upon to protect us before we we left today? No. Okay. Are you one of our ancestors that look over us? Yes. So we do have very strong connections mind. to mind. We do have very strong connections to our um, relatives that have passed on. I know Kieran's Nana especially likes to keep an eye on, on him and, and look out for him and also my great granny likes to keep me safe which is a wonderful thing, feel very privileged about so thank you so much for keeping us safe. They did spells. They did spells. Who are they? Can you tell us who they are? Was they as in uh, maybe a healer? We're going to move to another location now, is that okay? Is there anything else you'd like to say to us before we move on? 13. 13. Was that your age when you passed? No. 13. Could that be the number of spirits here? It's beautiful. So if there is anyone that would like to come through, um, you can speak to me in this device here. Um, we are friendly. If you'd like to give us a message, it would be much appreciated. Gilbert. Gilbert. You can touch this device here in my hand. Can you tell us about this door? What it was used? What, how it was used? What, it, what was in there? Hierarchy. Hierarchy. Who are you in the hierarchy? Can you give us a name? Is that you, Gilbert? Uh, I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on this, but I think the tower up there was where was where the room that King John died. Getting some flickerings here on the bleak bloop. Yeah, it's going up to yellow. Is that you doing that, King John? Or is that the more was it someone evil else? spirit? Is it someone else? We apologise for the background noise. There's children playing here again.
What do you think about people coming into this castle? Does it make you angry? I was 80. I was 80. King John wasn't 80. No. I think he was probably about 50 when he died. The person who was 80, can you tell us your name? So we just, I wasn't filming, I was just taking a few sh photographs, but we just had a weird thing. Factory Hums Dread. Let's have a look. Just give it still a sec. Factory Hums Dread. That is so weird. That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard come through. There's we're the, moving around. We're moving around. That's such a weird thing, isn't it? Factory Hums Dread. Yeah. Should we go to one of the windows over there to see yeah. if I... Okay, I'm no historian, I could be wrong here, but I think that room at the very top, without any glass in it, I've been told, is the room that King John died in, and there's no floor in there anymore. It's literally just a chasm. But, uh, yeah, I think that's the room where he died. and the sigil. So as Claire's just pointed out, there's some really nice features. I've always liked this window, it's very detailed. Um, obviously, uh, maybe a family coat of arms was on there at one point. We just had Bob come through, which is short for Robert, maybe. Look at the storm. I know, that storm cloud. I'd love to be in here. Look, look, look at the bleep bleep. That's is that caused by the thunder? That's proper going off there. Yeah, it could be cool to film here in the thunderstorm. You feel it, can't you? The cool air blowing yeah, in. Yeah, have to add a spot of rain. Bleep bleep's going crazy right it now. It is. There's no reason for it to be. We're nowhere near anything electrical. We're all on airplane mode. Yeah, all of our phones and devices are all on airplane mode. It's not gone to red. Oh, yep, it's on red. Wonderful. I am alone. You are alone. God, it's gone crazy all of a sudden. Is that John that's alone, or is that someone else? Look how fast the water's moving. Yeah, here comes the storm. You might be able to hear us better. So, shout out to Vicky and Andy and the kids. Shout out to Carol on YouTube. And also we have a little competition. So somewhere in this video, we are going to put a hidden imps and ghouls um, icon. I'll first, show you that icon now. The first three people. Shot. shot. Oh, now it all comes out. <laughs> the first three people that can name the timestamp gets a free Imps and Gould Gould's merchandise badge. I need to put my coat on. <laughs> we'll do this video another time. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I have the please? <laughs> yeah.
Hello everyone, sorry we had to uh, stop the video there, it started to rain, uh, but we're, uh, what are you doing? You're not uh, coming. A few shout outs and a few other things to mention, uh, Claire. So, as we were saying, the first three people to spot the ghost icon on our new video and to post the timestamp on our page. Now you've got the sofa. Now you've got the hoodie thing. That's fine, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, as we were saying, the, the first three people to comment on the new video the timestamp of where the goal is will win a free badge Ooh, merchandise. Um, so we are looking at merchandise for people which has been requested so as you can see we're wearing our, our sick togs right now you too can own one of these um, also we've got a ton of shout outs so we've been neglecting our shout out friends I'm sorry um, but we do, we have shout outs for Becky and Wade, we have shout outs for Vicky, Andy, Jaden, Moo, Tiana, Tristan Lee, Romeo and Naya Rain. We also have shout outs finally for Jane, Lee, Joseph and Bill. Um, much love to each and every one of you, thank you so much for following us, we really do appreciate it. Um, we really do value your support and it just keeps us doing what we do um so yeah thank you so much anything yeah. you want to say Kieran? no that's it i think you've covered it so Look. see you on the next video i suppose